hello everyone so what is this od study in od study origin destination study we try to find out the travel pattern of the city in od study o stands for origin and d stands for destination so suppose let us say you are at your home which i am denoting as point a then you are going to work at some other point b then there is a shopping area at c and similarly you have other workplaces also let us call them d and there is one more home location which is e that is residential location so what morning what happens is you travel from home to work so you travel from a to b so in this a is your origin and b is your destination that you are starting at a and ending at b and sometimes what you do evening is you start at b and go to a shopping center office to shopping center or home to shopping center and similarly people will travel a to d and so on so you get lot of lines like this so if suppose this is only about one trip suppose there are 100 people living here and they travel from a to b 50 people are traveling from a to b so you draw a thicker line which can represent 50 and a to d let us say only 30 people are going so you represent by a little thinner line than a to b so a to b is more thick than a to d and rest rest 20 go to, let us say it is to c so these lines are known as desire lines higher the thickness more the trips so the odi study is graphically represented you see desire lines so why do we do all this it is to understand the travel pattern of the city suppose you have to design a metro in the city and you have to choose choose the best corridor so that you can lay over the metro then you will try to choose the path over the thickest line like a to b so that's how odi study is useful